Hey, mustard lovers. I'm Barry Levinson, founder and curator of the National Must Museum. I'm here to talk to you about mild American yellow mustard. Uh, I know what some of you are thinking. Boring. How ordinary. How unsophisticated. It's not gourmet. A lot of people ask me what I think of yellow mustard assuming that as one who has made mustard his life for nearly 30 years, I could not possibly like American yellow mustard. Au contraire, mon ami, au contraire. Yes, I love Dijon mustards, herb mustards, horseradish mustards, deli mustards, honey mustards, exotic mustards with truffles and curry. You know, at the annual Worldwide Mustard Competition, there are 17 different categories of mustard. 17. And American yellow is one of them. For me, there are times and foods that demand a good, old-fashioned, smooth and mild, bright yellow American mustard. Remember the 1967 hit song by Donovan? They call me Mellow Yellow. Sorry, I won't do that again. A little history. Mustard as a condiment goes back centuries. The French were making mustard in the old Burgundian town of Dijon. Get it? Dijon? But it was probably grainy, not smooth. When the French finally figured out how to make it smooth, the color was more tan or beige. Food historians credit the American George French with inventing yellow mustard. It was 1904, and Mr. French wanted a mustard that would appeal to American tastes, both in flavor and in appearance. Of course, that is now French's classic yellow mustard. The bright yellow color comes from turmeric, which is also used as a dye for clothing in India. So if you get a yellow stain on your shirt, don't blame the mustard. It's the turmeric. As a side note, people often ask, how do you get a yellow mustard stain out of clothing? Simple. So what's in yellow mustard? Here's a squeeze bottle of French's yellow. Ingredients, distilled vinegar, water, number one grade mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika spice, natural flavor, and garlic powder. As for its nutritional value, according to the label, a teaspoon of yellow mustard contains zero calories. Zero. No fat. No trans fat. No carbs. No cholesterol. And a measly 55 milligrams of sodium. That's pretty low. The recommended maximum daily sodium intake for adults is 2,300 milligrams. Of course, French's isn't the only yellow mustard out there. Plockman's, which invented the squeeze bottle, is another popular and excellent brand. Its ingredients are similar, same as for calories and everything else except sodium content, 75 milligrams. Still a low sodium condiment. Is there such a thing as gourmet yellow mustard? Well, Ray's of Eastport, Maine makes a small batch, handcrafted, down east schooner yellow mustard. It's a fine mustard with ingredients similar to French's and Plockman with one exception. Mustard seed is the second ingredient, not the third. So there is technically more mustard seed in Ray's. And that may be why a serving of Ray's contains a whopping five calories instead of zero. Maybe what makes it gourmet is the glass jar. Almost all yellow mustards in the supermarket come in plastic, although you still can find French's in glass, at least for now. I guess for some people, glass is class. As for French's, some more history. It was based in Rochester, New York at 1 Mustard Street. It became part of Reckitt and Coleman in the 1920s, the same company that owned Coleman's Mustard, the famous sharp yellow English mustard. French's ad campaigns were brilliant. They put out a series of comic strip ads depicting housewives learning the hard way 
why it never pays to buy the cheaper mustard. And Hot Dan the Mustard Man was an iconic figure in his day. There's even in an entire section about French's in our new book, The Art of Mustard. Highly recommended. And there's a link to buy The Art of Mustard below. Anyway, the great American spice company McCormick recently acquired French's and is doing a bang up job. They even launched a limited edition French's Mustard Beer on National Mustard Day. Sorry, it's all gone. One thing these three mustards, French's, Flockman, and Ray's have in common, they have all won multiple medals in the yellow mustard category at the Worldwide Mustard Competition. Oh, there are other good yellow mustards out there too. On the West Coast, you'll find Morehouse. There's also an organic yellow mustard by Bar Height, marketed under the Susie's label. And French's also makes an organic version. Jennifer Connor makes a sweetened version of yellow mustard with her Mustard Girl Sweet and Fancy Yellow Mustard. But what do you do with yellow mustard? If you go for a hot dog in Chicago, do not ask for ketchup. You take your life in your hands by asking for that nasty red stuff. A properly dressed Chicago dog is topped with yellow mustard. Not brown, not Dijon, but yellow. And neon green relish, celery salt, sport peppers, and tomato ridge, and a pickle. A local chef showed me another use for American yellow. Marinate catfish fillets overnight in yellow mustard. Then drag them through seasoned breadcrumbs before frying. That is good eating. Another use for yellow? Carolina barbecue sauce. You can't make it without yellow mustard. Below you'll find a link to our video about the best sauce for pulled pork. Hint, it contains mustard. The yellow mustard seed is about 32% protein and researchers are looking at ways to use the yellow seed as a potential plant-based protein source similar to soy, wheat, and peas. As you can tell, I am a big fan of good old American yellow mustard. How about you? Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. More of our mustard videos are already on YouTube with more coming. Check out the old doo-wop song Mustard by the Dittos about a group of guys who love their yellow mustard. There's a link to that below as well. As Dirty Harry said, nobody. I mean, nobody puts ketchup on a hot dog. So go eat some yellow mustard and make my day.